Claire Dolan needs no introduction here, um, but for people who are from out of town, uh, this is one of the principal solar systems in the Brendan Puppet cosmos. And uh, this, uh, what you're about to see, I think was performed for the first time, um, maybe, in, uh, in Massachusetts, at the second convergence that we did. And is it about the same? Yeah, yeah, I'll tell. I'll All right. Thank you, Claire. I apologize, I wasn't here when I, I was originally supposed to be here. We were in the circus field, and we were at that very moment rehearsing a circus act featuring Joel. And it was really fun. And, um, and it um, just put me in the great mind of him in a playful and beautiful way. So then it's a pleasure to rush back here to do this. And um, this is indeed a contestory I've made uh, in the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy um, all those years ago, which many of us remember. And I'm so um, moved and honored to, to be here to perform it in honor of Joel. Hurricane Manifesto number one. To this world where on the winds are wild, each of you came as a naked child, owning nothing. Your body froze when a woman gave you swaddling clothes. No one called you, you were not besought in the were you brought on this earth you were quite unknown when a man placed his hand in your own the sweeping hand of the hurricane reminds her distracted and ignorant children <laughs> now it is time to do away with the bells and whistles of this gloriously decorated hamster wheel of your so-called civilization. <laughs> the hurricane says, now I have taught you how easy it is to revive the old-fashioned practice of hand-to-mouth neighborhoodism in place of cell phone and Facebook and all kinds of other electronic stuff, all of it easily wiped out with one nonchalant puff of my mighty breath. <laughs> yeah. Like a doe nudging her newborn fawn to take its first step, I say to you, it is time to begin it is time to begin it is time to begin step one employ simple feet or bicycles to carry yourself next door to your neighbors step two Utilize outdated knuckles to knock at your neighbor's door. <laughs> Step three, activate crucial back muscles involved in the digging out of the mud, feeding and blanket giving activities central to the true and enthusiastic practice of hand to mouth neighborhoodism. And thus awakened, now you are ready to advance to the nuanced art of deep eye to eye gazing, ear to chest heartbeat recognition, full body embracing, and all the other forgotten arts of the caveman era. The howling voice of the hurricane entreats her distracted and ignorant children. Now, 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 rethink your everyday life. Rethink 
the concrete and asphalt expressions of your ambition. Do not rebuild the merchandise choke broad, uh, boardwalks of New Jersey, smothered with an endless number of souvenir shops and eateries designed to stoke the insatiable hunger of commonplace Americans. Capitalism! And do not rebuild the constipated Chelsea art galleries, crammed with unaffordable expressions of anxiety ridden artists. Don't do it! Now is your chance to take a different path. Take a different path. First, turn your eyes away from the cell phones, from the overstocked marketplace, from the litter of mindless entertainments. Next, close your eyes and allow visions to come. What does your new city look like? How do public spaces unfold? How do they elegantly nourish space for frivolous chit-chat and serious philosophical debate for non-virtual hanging out? Next, open your eyes and look up. Open your eyes and look up. Open your eyes and look up. Open your eyes and look up to the vast and humble sky, now slowly clearing as the dark clouds move away, now opening up into a vault of endless blue, now filling with the songs of a thousand birds singing. And this world, it is not in your debt. No one stops you if you try to quit. To you many turn a deaf ear, many too on your account shed tears. From this earth where on the winds are wild, you Scurf and scab defiled, almost all rejoice at their own birth long before they go back to the earth. We'll miss you, Joel.